for every single one of these problems, um, but just a couple of the ones that are a little bit more of a challenge from the previous pages that we looked at. Um, the first, let's see, one, two, three problems there, they're basically the same as what we were looking at on the previous page, but if you look at number four, we've got to start being careful with which direction our forces are pointing. So this particular problem, we end up with a net force of nine newtons. It's really easy to put three, sort of tempting to say, let's just take this side, six newtons, subtract it from this side, and we're good to go, but we've got to be careful. Um, our six newton force, whatever that is, applied force, we'll just say for generic force there. Applied force is kind of a cop out. It's like we don't really know what the force is, but it's a being applied to the object. So we've got a six newton applied force acting in this direction. Three newton applied force acting in that same direction. So that means together we've got a total of nine strength units of force, nine newtons of force, pulling our object in that direction, the direction of both those forces. All right, so it's not just subtract because they're on different sides. It's we've got to pay attention to which direction those forces are pushing or pulling. So what this would be like in real life is if I had some sort of object and I had some people pushing on one side of the box, or a person pushing with six newtons of force, and then I have somebody else on the other side of the box that's pulling it with a, a rope or something like that in this direction, person pushing in this direction, it's going to end up being the same thing as if they were both on one side pushing or both on one side pulling. Nine newtons of a force regardless. Numbers five and six, really, really similar. End up subtracting. One force is acting to the left. One force is acting to the right. The force that's acting to the left is larger by four newtons. Let's take a look at number eight next. All right, similar to some of the questions on the previous page, I have a total of six newtons acting towards the right, five newtons of force acting towards the left. When those cancel each other out, they cancel each other out by five newtons, leaving one newton left over to the right because that side is the larger, that direction is the larger amount of forces acting in it. Uh, number 10, through some people. Um, again, it just comes down to really looking at which direction our forces are present. So looks like we've got a force of 4 newtons acting to the right. Another force of 4 newtons still acting to the right, despite being on a different side of the box. So in other words, we've got a total of 8 newtons acting to the right. We have a total of 7 newtons acting to the left. It's like, well, how much force is left over? We have a total of one newtons, or one newton, I should say, of force left over after seven of the newtons that are acting in this direction cancel out eight of the newtons acting in the rightward direction.